everybody welcome back to Barbara's Den and I just learned that Amanda Seals quit the reel she told her friend here and apparently with him telling him about what he can't do this and this and that she said well then you know what happened to me and she said she didn't um, renew her contract with the real. And he said, yes. Yeah. So he already knew. He just wanted her to tell. He wanted her to tell, oh, I guess on, um, I guess he wanted her to tell, to announce it on his platform or whatever. That's what I saw from that. But anyway, I knew a man of seal was not going to last. On the real. I knew she wasn't going to last. Because. I, I didn't even know anything about a mental seal. Before they offered her to come to the real. So I kind of learned a lot more about her. The kind of person she is. And. Based on what people were saying. The kind of person she is. Which is exactly the kind of person that. I learned on the real. How passionate she is about certain things about black matters and um I knew she wasn't going to last I didn't I think what she got was for her to not uh, renew her contract when it ended she had a temporary pro contract or she had a Her contract, some people say her contract was for three years. Apparently not. If she did not sign to renew her contract. So it couldn't have been no three years because she ain't been on that three years. She was only what, like, what? Three, six months? So it was like a trial period for her to see how she liked it. And then she probably would have been offered a longer contract. But I don't blame her f f for not renewing the contract. Because I couldn't find this clip anywhere, but I did saw it. The fact that she got into this argument with the Balon girl. Asking her her personal business about something happening in a club off the show. Like how they doing, Nene. Something off the show got nothing to, in her personal life. They bring it to the show and want to talk about it. And she put her in her place. People saying certain things she don't like. But Lonnie, Lonnie Love gave up her blackness to speak her, to speak about her point of view on blackness when Jeannie Mai did what she did. So, if you look at Lonnie Love, you can see I just how uncomfortable this woman is. But well, she probably probably in a contract and can't move. And another thing, she probably don't want to leave because it's her show. It's like she, the show, she started the show, you know, through the producers and all of that. But the idea to her or whatever, allow her that opportunity. She brought the show on air just like Nene brought Real Housewives of Atlanta to the airs. So, Lonnie gave up. You can look in Lonnie's face and see how miserable she is. Lonnie gave up her voice to allow Jeannie Mai and that Balin girl to just take over and say what they want. And Jeannie Mai thought she could just talk about black. She could just talk about black point of view because she's dating a black man. Girl, the man already done come out and show you how much he think of you. When he got in that girl DM. We're going to be another uh, Offset and Cardi B. Stay off me somebody DM and stuff. Girl. So. I could actually quit. Now you know because I don't get to know her personality. And I like how she speaks. She. She. She said she's going to have her own show. I forgot what she said she's going to name it. But I don't blame her. Why well, should. Let's say. Um. 
It's not about the money for her. They thought it was about the money, but not everybody care about money. If you if if if, if you are comfortable with the money that you're making, I guess there's nothing wrong with making more money. But you got to be like Nene. There are certain things that I don't have to do. Like she don't got to put a real housewives of Atlanta for a two point eight million dollar check. Like you say, she not going to step down. Y'all can do, do whatever they want to do. But she not stepping down. And she say, and when she step down, it'll be, it, it'll be on her turn. It won't be because they run her off. And right now, you don't even know where Real Housewives of Atlanta is going to go from here. Because now, Nene has gotten so big that she can hire a publicist to do all her talking for her. Especially for people like Kenya and Candy. I see Candy on I see um yeah, I see Candy on shut it down. And when Ken, when Candy tell Nene, bring it down or not, bring it down. Candy brought it down because this high pitch thing going after Nene was hurting her brain. Kenya don't have a brain that's relevant to anybody. Because I don't hear nobody buying her hair care products. I'm online. I've seen. I just bought my second set of sheets from Portia's, um, from Portia Williams' Pampered collection. I'm loving the navy, and I had I already had a navy, um, a navy and burgundy comforter I got from Family Dollar. So I got the navy bench. It's perfectly with it. I love the eggplant, so I ordered the eggplant. Then when I finished ordering the eggplant, then I saw the burgundy, which I saw the burgundy before I ordered the eggplant. As soon as I saw the burgundy after that, I said, I'm going to have to buy more pillows and stuff to match this eggplant. So, I called to cancel the eggplant. What if it doesn't cancel? Well, I'll keep it anyway. Well, I'd rather cancel it. Then I ordered the burgundy because I can flip the comforter over because it's um, double-sided. Flip the comforter over and it will match the um burgundy sheet set that I bought as well as the pillow with the with the navy and the burgundy in it. So I don't have to buy any more pillows. Cause the blue because the blue navy pillow the blue pillow that I have matches the navy. And then I got this one pillow with different colors in it. A pinkish. Because even with all the other colors that of sheets that Portia has, this one pillow that I bought from um, the Roses store, department store, matches all the color, colors. So this pillow here wouldn't match everything. I might go and get two um, burgundy pillows. Make sure this thing's still doing. I might still go and get two burgundy pillows. Because the burgundy pillowcase is going to do okay. The burgundy pillowcase is going to match these two pillows. I really don't have to buy. No, I really don't have to buy burgundy pillows. Not really. So, that's it with this. So, with all that said. Kenya's on brand. It's not to the point where I see. I, I know a lot of people was doing hair care reviews on it. And she probably paid them to do it. Portia ain't paying me nothing for these sheets because I want sheets. I got a lot of sheets I buy from family, daughter, from other places. And they slice up my new expensive mattress that I bought two years ago from for my bed. To help to deal with the pain that my body goes through dealing with the MS and stresses. So family BS and um, so-called friends BS and all that. So, I said, well, let me try Portia. I said, because I know these, if these sheets is this much, they better cover my whole mattress. Don't slide, no sliding up the side and coming off. And it doesn't. It's a perfect fit. I'm loving it. But anyway, I'm not tend to buying so much clothes. I probably won't be buying no clothes from anybody because Nene and Candy has tagged 
Candy has her makeup. I go to Dollar Tree and get all my makeup, whatever. And I'm not, I'm not even a makeup person. I'm just buying it because of this COVID-19. All of this quality stuff is being dumped into the dollar stores. And I'm in there getting them for a dollar. And when I say they're quality, they are quality. Because I use the eyebrow on my eyes, the eyelash thing to, to brush the eyebrows up. And my niece going to say, Auntie, now, what that you got on? You got makeup on? Because you know, I said, what are you talking about? I said, she said she was, she was saying eyebrows, but I was hearing eyelash. I said, these are my eyelashes. I said, I always had long eyelashes. She said, but, she said, but, and then, and then she goes and scrubs my eyebrows. I said, oh, she's saying eyebrows. She said, those are not your eyebrows. She said, you got something on them eyebrows. And she scrubbed and tried to come it off. Nothing came off on her finger. So she was quiet. Dollar. Keep from the dollar stores. From the dollar, dollar general, dollar tree, dollar stores. And you get them for a dollar. So. These are. Called. I go in there all the time to look to see what else in there I want to get. If I see something different in there that I want to I'm just getting it because they're a dollar. And I, when I think about makeup or whatever, I put it on. But for the most part, I don't wear makeup. All the, um, the, um, thing for the face, the, uh, what do you call it? The foundation they put on your face. I'm not touching that because my skin is fine like it is. I wash it. I, I moisturize my skin. Then I do the eyebrows. And I do the eye. I try to do the bottom eyelashes and poke myself dead in my only eye I can see out. So I had to go get me some of some, some of the little towel. They got all this a bunch of little towelettes, wipes. It's like four or five different kinds that comes in there. And every time I see a different one, I go in there and get it. So I had to take it and dab my eyeball to get it out. It didn't hurt or anything. It just it was crazy. I said, okay, bottom eyelashes, fine. Imagine trying to do your bottom eyelash like I saw the girl on. I think Aloha was talking about no Kenya, the Kenya girl. Um, she was putting it in. I see how she put it down there. I thought I put it down there. Trying to do it. It's not easy. Imagine you got, you can't see out your right eye. And you're trying to put something in your left eye. That didn't work. So, fine. Now, I can do it. I can do the right eye because I can see out the left eye. But anyway. That's what I'm doing with that. That's why I'm not concerned with that. But you know, if I get free stuff, I'm good. But I ain't trying. I ain't trying to buy. I ain't trying to buy clothes and makeup when I can go and get them for like get for belts for like six dollars when they have big clearance sale. So the makeup, I don't buy belts and makeup. Now I get that. Now I get that um lotion they got, the body lotion that moisturizes the skin. And my skin is doing really good because it helped me. This lady in there, look at me. When I went to bought my second bottle, she tell that lady to bring her one. And they basically got them hiding in the store. You literally got to ask for them. Because she told me they didn't have any. And when I told her, I ordered some. When they had given these, and you ordered the gift. And then you got to order one thing. And I ordered a 35, it was $35. So you get this your free bag of um, makeup and stuff. They do it every year in Belks. So, when I got and I told her I ordered that and da 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 She said, oh, okay. And then she went back and got me one. And then like, well, can I have one? Because she was already saying they ain't had none. So, that's, that's what I'm doing. But, the sheets, I don't have a problem buying these little cheap sheets, $10, $15. But they don't fit my new mattress. I can't stand when she come back and you got to constantly pushing it down because... It's half down the sheet, half down the mattress. Porsche sheets are perfect. They are comfortable. The pillows is comfortable. I'm going through a traumatic situation with my mom and all of that, and that brought the pain back on. I'm a little sore right now, but the pain is not as bad as it would have been had I not had this mattress and had I not had these super comfortable sheets by Porsche. So, with all of that said, back to Amanda Seals. I knew this woman was not going to stay there because she's not the type of person to just stay there 
and just be pinned down. Like Lonnie Love is pinned down. The woman is utterly miserable. Because when... Only reason I ever watched the show when I found out Tamar Braxton was on it, that's when I started watching because I like to see Tamar Braxton and her lively self. But I saw that Lonnie Love had serious issues with Tamar. Lonnie can say whatever she wants. She had a serious issue with Tamar. I could see it. The look in her eye. Now that she done left, now that they done fired Tamar and everything been exposed now, she's still looking crazy. Because Tamar refused to believe that she had nothing to do with it. And then she done had an old friend of hers done come out and expose her. Try to make this woman look crazy. And then her friend come out to defend her friend. So Lonnie just sit there looking crazy. I don't feel bad for her. But now they brought Amanda Seals on to try to bring some of that back to Lonnie. And it it's not working because Amanda Seals said she don't need the money. She don't need the money when she gotta sit there and be spoken to in a way and people are not getting checked. When you start putting up with that, then you end up like Lonnie. Because Jeannie Mai is the one that um took took Lonnie down. And then when Lonnie, then with Jeannie Mai on them all this carrying on. Oh my god, girl, bye. And because Jeannie Mai, not Jeannie Mai, because Amanda Seals had these weird looks on her face she always had. Why in the world Amanda Seals got a job? Oh, ah, yeah, oh, congratulations. Why would she do that? So these people drag this woman for filth. And you expect all because of Jeannie Mai with a black man. He didn't care nothing about her either. He proved, he proved that to her by embarrassing her by going in that girl dim that that girl wasn't going to tell. And I don't blame Amanda Seals. Because of her crookedness on her face, they're going to jump time on her and they're going to say discouraging things. They can take the real and let Jeannie Mai and that Baylon girl, Adrian Baylon, and Tamara, and I don't got a problem with Tamara, because Tamara is genuinely Tamara. She embodies both of her races. She embodies the black and the white. And the mix is perfect in how she carries herself. Lonnie is not allowed to carry her blackness. Amanda Seals is not allowed to carry her blackness. Jeannie Mai was allowed to carry her Vietnamese, whatever she is. And now she's allowed to come on there and take on the blackness and carry it. And don't know what the rip she's talking about. And Adrian Balon, um, she carried who she is very well. Even though I don't like her. But she carries who she is very well on the show. Jeannie Mai is wannabe. She is Vietnamese wannabe black. And carry black as if she knows something because she was a black man. Girl, bye. Your life is Vietnamese, not black. Because not the blackness coming from G Z Z or whatever his name is. But anyway, I expected this, and I'm happy she left. At least now. I know who she is for being on the real. So, I can follow her to other platforms where she is talking. Because if I hear about her, I would want to go see what she got to say. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit the thousand subscribers. And, ooh, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.